Teachers TV reality show. Yes, um, very quickly. Yes. Remember I told you about our selection today, or our election today, yes. either ways. I don't know how you have decided to do it, but today we must have our captain, the head of the house. Yeah. All right, so can we start that now? Yes, very yes, quickly. Yes. Okay, so please sit down. All right, then. Okay. Um, we, we decided on an election. Great. So we have made arrangements already. So um, oh. we'll be doing that quickly. Ah, this is nice. This is our ballot box <laughs> for the election. Okay. Yes. And we'll, so we'll, we'll need it to help us do the counting of our votes and our nomination slips. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, very quickly, guys. Nomination. For nomination. Wow. Line up, line up, line up, line up, line up. Line up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So. Hope no invalid vote. Too. So it does, uh, is it connected uh, to server? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nigerians are saying it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have Wale here. One. That's number one for Wale. I have Dominic here. One. Number one for Dominic. Um, I have uh, Dominic. Dominic. Number two for Dominic. Uh, oh, wow. Dominic? Uh -huh. Dominic? Uh -huh. Okay, Ola Wale Ola Demeji. That's number two for Wale. And I think I have the last. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. And I have Dominic. Wow. Okay, so as it is, I have Dominic 1, Dominic 2, Dominic 3, Dominic 4, Dominic 5, and I have Olawali 2. Okay, so, um, so it means we have two people nominated, right? Yes, sir. All right. So, what happens? There's no need There's no need We already have two candidates, and among the two, we already have one winner. So, who is the winner? Dominic! Money denomination. Money denomination. Money denomination. Five naira. Ten naira. Abani koko. Twenty naira. Motala mohabe. Fifty naira. Wazobia. One hundred naira. Abafemi abono. Today is the eviction show. So it means that. Some of you may be going home. Which also means that we may not be seeing some of you again on this show. So I think you're the only one that is not up for eviction. Yeah. Okay, so you can relax your back while I have those already put up. Dominic. Yes, sir. You're the house um, captain now. Yes, sir. And you already put up for eviction. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to feel well, how you how will you feel if you don't end up coming back here oh. because it's me yes sir i'll still be excited at least i've learned a few things and i've got uh, responsibility thrusted at me while i'm still in the house i will lead well mm. and while i live i'm sure the next House captain will lead well as well. Mm. Yes, sir. So as it is, you have just a few hours to lead. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you have said it all. You've learned a lot yes, from here. And I hope that you're going to share with other people there. Very well. All right. Okay, well, my task here is simple. First of all, we have to select a head of house today. That's the first thing we're going to do. So I want you all to... You see that box there? That's your ballot box. Okay. I want you all to, you know, nominate who you think your head of house should be. That's the first thing I'm going to do quickly. So are we ready? 
Sure. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think we should get to it. Everybody cannot win at the same time. No, it's going to be just one winner. So oh. with that mindset, it's a game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So and I go by what he said. It's a win-win for me to oh. have come to this house. I think I'm a winner already. Wow. Wow, man, I love, I love, I love your courage. I love your courage. You guys have made me so proud, and I'm sure you have made so many Nigerians proud. Yeah. I mean, this is a positive game spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Thank so, well, for me, I'm going to miss you. I don't know who the person is going to be, but somehow I'm already getting used to you guys. And the truth is, uh, I'll wait till when we have the show. All right? Fee, fee, fee. Can we drop it inside the box? Yes. Uh, the box is empty. There's nothing in it. So we're just quickly going to drop your papers in there. Okay. I don't even know how to spell somebody's name. That means I can't give it to that person. I'm sorry. Are you writing an SAV? I don't know how to spell the name. <laughs> Is okay, so are we done? Yes. Is it something? Let's check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of you voted? Yes. So, we're just going to check now. Mary Jane has one vote. Mary Jane again, two. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> MJ. Blessing Saraki mm -hmm. has one vote. Mm -hmm. Bliss King, blessing again. Yeah. Two. 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 Nanas has one vote. Mm -hmm. Nanas has two. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and MJ has <laughs> 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 Mary Jane, after having the highest vote of four, <laughs> is your head of house. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Mama, 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 Thank you. Mommy's so happy. Mommy's happy. You deserve it. I know. I'm happy with that. <laughs> See, this would you. mean that Mary Jane have more responsibilities to yeah. take care of the house. She yeah. has to ensure that everybody Mom. is on time. Downstairs for breakfast on time. Out of sports on time. And in time for every activity. You're also going to take responsibilities for every of the house actions. That means you are now responsible. And any mistake of the house, you're going to take res responsibility for it. Do you understand? Yes. Con congratulations. Thank you. 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 Now, on to a more serious note. Today is going to be the eviction show. And I understand that one of you is up for eviction. It's your man. So, I would like you all to you know, exchange your pleasantries because um, after now we are going to go downstairs and we don't know this might be the last time I'm going to be seeing you or you know any of the guys there and it's quite sad. I'm becoming emotional. So I think we should, you know, ex exchange pleasantries and get ready for what might come because this might be the last time we might sit together like this in the house. Behind the scene they work very hard They do what they do To stay motivated This is the Tito's reality show This is the Tito's reality show The Teachers TV reality show
Good day, housemates. Good day, sir. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. I can see you're looking smart in your t-shirt. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, this morning we'll be going out for our first outdoor activity. We've been doing all our activities in the house, but uh, we'll be taking you out. Uh, the activities we'll be doing outside the house, I know you don't know about it, so it's a suspense. And uh, we want you to get there to meet whatever you're going to do. But since it will be the first time we'll, we'll be leaving the house, we still want you to maintain decorum. We still want you to maintain that high standard of morality when it comes to teaching. And we want you to be worthy ambassadors of this show. We want you to be worthy ambassadors of your school. And uh, people will be watching you from all over the world. And we don't want you to show characteristics that will uh, be a disadvantage to the teacher. So that's what I want to give you this morning before we leave. Then before we leave, I want to introduce Dr. Jawando. He's a jury. So just meet him formally. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi. I want a loud round of applause for each and every one of you. <laughs> All right. So without taking much of your time, I must commend each and every one of you. You guys have done fantastic. Thank you so and much. going out is not new to you. I'm sure you're going to have fun. We've done a lot of things out there to make it very, very interesting. Some of you are going to have additional characters to yourselves today. So you should look forward to this. Yeah. All right? You guys have been doing very well. Like you said, I must commend each and every one of you. Let's go out and let's be better. Thank you. Yeah. excited to be here today okay so let's get into the drill can we just form the lines in such a way that we have one male one female very quickly everybody male female male female male female male female okay okay that's fine so let's give ourselves some numbers there one two three four Fifteen. Okay, so we're going to get another number now. It's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's start with you. Remember one. this number. Remember this number. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can all ones come close to me? Thank you. Can you come behind me? Okay. Can all twos come close to me? All right. So can all threes go together? So we have. Group one on this side, we have group two here, and group three on the other side. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so can you come to this side, this side, and you come to this side. So we'll get the brief on what we're doing. You can come to this side. Okay. All right. So now we have five people in the team, and five of us are going to have different tasks. One, we're going to have the manager of the group, who's going to be the introducer. The second person is going to be the female model. The th third person is going to be the male model. The fourth person is going to be talking about the male clothing. And the fifth person is going to be talking about the male clothing. We're going to come back on the runway, and we're going to be doing these presentations. Any questions? No. So who's excited? Yeah. Hello, housemates. Hello. Okay, my name is Jonathan. I'm the business manager for Aisha Abubakar. Okay, so today um, I'll be taking you around to see pieces. I suppose you are the um, stylist yes. for each cont contestant, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, beautiful. So now um, there are pieces, varieties, varieties here that you'd pick from. So um, I'm not supposed to be here while you guys do that. That's why you guys are stylists. So I'm not supposed to pick for you guys, yeah? Okay, so beautiful. Then now what we'll do is, I'm going to 
um, show you. There are jackets here, there are skirts, there are dresses, there are tops, dresses, tops, short tops, dresses too, and kimono. The rest of them, they are here. So you can decide whichever you would want for your group to wear, right? right. So um, I'm going to leave you guys to do what you know how to do best. Right. So Thank enjoy you. yourselves. Where is Oyare? Oh. Looking for me? Ooh, look at you! Thank you! Turn around, you look so gorgeous! Thank you, you're looking bad yourself. Thank you, dearest. So Ooh. we are at a secret location for the Nestax, a fashion house in Meitama, Abuja. And we want to thank them for making us look this glam. Thank you. Speaking of glam, we know that the housemates do not have the opportunity to, you know, express their fashion sense during the course of their task in the house. And of course, you know that the way we are dressed is the way we will be addressed. Mm -hmm. Every professional has his own dress code. There is a way a mechanic should look in his workshop, just like the lawyers in their chamber. That's right, and we're looking exactly how we should look. Not like the way you looked yesterday. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to pick into the minds of the housemates to see if they really understand what it means to dress like a teacher. I am Baba Shewo. And I am Oyari, and we'll be backstage taking notes. When we return, we're going to be coming up close and personal with our hosts. We'll be right back. Teachers TV reality show. Welcome back. So we have here with us the creative director of Aisha Abubakar. <laughs> Welcome, Ma. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for joining us. And very quickly, can we meet you? Okay, um, my name is Aisha Abubakar. I'm the creative director of Aisha Abubakar Luxury Designs. And um, practically, that's what I do. I'm just a designer. Just a designer, interesting. So what, why, why did you choose to partner with us on this project, especially when you know it has nothing to do with fashion or entertainment? Okay, um, first and foremost, my mom is a teacher, okay. so I can relate. And for me, I know that the classroom um, had a lot of um, things to do with how I was molded. So my teachers impacted on me from a very early age. And I think dressing them up appropriately is very important. That's interesting. Wow. Many thanks for coming with us on the show. It's my great I mean, pleasure. Thank you for making us look this glad. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like it. All right, viewers, we'll be right back. This is the Tito's reality show. This is the Tito's reality show. Hello, my amazing viewers. I am Madidi Soma Jane, the business manager for Fashion House Team One. As you all know, fashion is a contemporary trend and the teachers are not left out. Right away, let me introduce my, my supermodels in the person of Miss Melvin. And right behind her is Mr. Victor. <laughs> not forgetting my very amiable male stylist, in the person of Mr. Dominic. And my very beautiful Miss Fina. She is my female stylist. They are going to come here and tell us more about the wares our models are putting on. Thank you. Hello, viewers. My name is Dominic. I'm your housemaid number 12. I'm the stylist for Team One. Here with me, I have my male teacher model. And he's looking like the CEO. He's putting on a beautiful shade of gray, a blazer, and a white cotton shirt. I have a touch of red to justify to you how the teacher's heart looks and is full of passion and love for the profession and for his children. Isn't it looking wonderful? Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Fina. 
As a stylist, I designed this gorgeous outfit. All right, this is a bow tie side slit skirt with a net blouse, all rocked in a blue color. This design can fit into any professional outfit. Thank you. Hello viewers, my name is Namse, I'm the business manager for Team 2. I'm here to present to you our teacher models strutting the wrong way, demonstrating the dress code, the fashion style of a, a normal teacher you expect to see. So without waiting much of your time, I'm going to call on my models, Olawale and Chinwe. Please put your together for them. Yeah, as you can see, dressing up a teacher is like preparing a lesson plan. You start from a blank plate and you put it all together, the colors and the stitches and the patterns, so that they come out together. So we have, I have my fashionistas, my male and female stylists, Mary Jane, and Zam, please come and let them see you. So they're going to tell us about how this outfit was put together. All right. Uh, this is Model Chinwe. She came to us to give her a professional teacher's look. And we thought about what will make her look good. And so we came up with a blend of purple and black to give her the look of a royalty. And as a teacher, she's expected to give you details or detailed information as plain as possible. And that is why you can see the details on her skirt and the plain blazer. Now you can see that she is designed to look picture perfect. And we gave her a peep toe shoes so that when she goes into the classroom, she will show her poise while she teach her students all that she needs to impact in them. Thank you. Okay, hello, I'm Mary Jane, and this is my male model teacher, he's Olawale. He's wearing a navy blue suit on a corporate shoe, which shows leadership. He's wearing a brunch, a red brunch, which shows that teachers are creative and are full of excellence. He's also putting on a pocket square, which shows that he's a teacher, that he's a master of his subject area. His complete dressing shows that he is smart, organized and has a great sense of decorum. Thank you. All right, without wasting much time, I don't know if you have any fire extinguishers in the building. Any fire extinguishers? Because they're about to set the runway on fire. Let's do this. Ooh. everyone. I am your favorite Dimple teacher and I'm here representing 
team three as the business manager. My name is Blessing Seriki, housemate number eight. And we just want to give you a peek into the teacher's wardrobe. To do that, I will invite my models, Vivian <laughs> and Adeshei. All right, we didn't do this alone. We had other team members as our female stylists and our male stylists. So I will invite Nanas as the female stylist, please. And John Atta as the male stylist. Okay, so we don't bore you too much. We're going to invite our male and female model to rock our walkway. Please take it. With me here, you have this very handsome looking teacher who is not just an ordinary teacher, but one you're supposed to be the manager of a school somewhere, maybe abroad. Now, if you look at him, he is wearing a checked suit with a pair of trousers to match with a fine pair of shoes here. And then he has this very sweet and wonderful pocket filler which has different colors and different shapes on them, showing you the versatility of a modern Nigerian teacher. So, as you can see him with his neat haircut and then his Gucci wristwatch, showing you that he keeps the time and punctuality is the soul of his own personal business. Thank you. All right, Nana, please, can you do justice to our female model? Hello viewers, my name remains Nanas Mozimo Temieno. And I happen to be the proud stylist of this beautiful teacher before us. The ideology behind this is to buttress that old adage that says, you should dress the way you want to be addressed. And as role models, we have three tips for you to help you bring that into reality. Tip number one, ensure you always dress decently and modestly. If you want people to address you, with respect. As you can see, this is our teacher, yet she is modestly dressed without exposing what need not to be exposed and looking really, really fashionable and beautiful. Tip number two, ensure you appear neat all the time. Neatness, I say, is next to godliness. And like you can see, my model is really portraying that in a beautiful white and royal blue dress. Tip number three, you should always wear what suits you and makes you feel comfortable all the time. It doesn't matter what people are saying there. As you can see, my teacher is looking really comfortable and she's exhuming an extraordinary kind of energy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, housemates. Hello. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations. You. Give yourselves a, a round of applause, please. For a moment, I actually thought you were professional models. I, I, really <laughs> I enjoyed your presentation and, and the, um, the runway as well. So we basically rated you on presentation, carriage, the styling, overall fit, and the overall look. So that's the measures that we used to grade you. So